Hello everyone and welcome to our channel. Today we are going to show you the city that is considered by many as the most beautiful in the entire Switzerland. Because of its unique panoramic mountain views, sunny medieval architecture and the city's lake, which is the fourth largest in the country. We are in Lucerne, also known as the heart of Switzerland because of its central geographic location and beauty. So come with us to get to know more this incredible place, its curiosities, history and our top 10 list of places you should visit there. Number 10. KKF This building was designed by the French architect Jean Nouveau. The construction was finished in 2000. Jean Nouveau included in the project a roof that extends over the lake, reflecting the water. That's why it is made of flat aluminium. The original project was in the form of a ship heading directly into the lake, but due to ecological and urban reasons, the project had to be revised. It is located in close proximity to the International Train Station. It's the reason why KKL is the perfect spot to start your itinerary, even if you arrive by car, because it has a huge parking lot. Number 9. Church of St. Lodegar It is a Roman Catholic church originally built in 735 in Gothic style. After being burned in a fire in 1633, it was redesigned in Renaissance style. The altars are made from wood and gold. They are quite stunning and super detailed. If you want to visit the interior, the entrance is free. The church is open from 7 a.m. to 7 p.m. every day. Number 8. Hot House Brewery It is the perfect spot to drink a craft beer made locally by themselves, using water from Mont Pilatus. They also serve traditional Swiss food on lunch and dinner time. In this case, we recommend to make your reservation in their website or by phone, because it's a popular restaurant and it gets very busy in meal times. It is open from 9 a.m. to 11.30 p.m. every day. Number 7. City Center Walk Tour 
Lucerne has over 200 fountains. We will leave a link to the guide in the description to help you find them. So bring your water bottle with you and enjoy free high quality water during your walk. You will also find interesting artwork on the facades. They are known as the Queen Kong's Manifest, made by Vero and Marco Schmid. The noticeable tall hall clock tower is valued as a masterpiece of late Renaissance style. Its construction was finished in 1606. Number 6. Jesuit Church St. Francis Xavier The first major sacred building to be built in the Baroque style in Switzerland, its construction began in 1666, and in 1677 it was inaugurated. The two towers were added later on 1893. Its interior is quite beautiful, with stunning paintings all over the roof. The church is open from 6.30 a.m. to 6.30 p.m. every day, except on Mondays and Tuesdays when it opens 9.30 a.m. Either way, the entrance is free. The church is located on the left bank of River Hoys, what is by itself an outstanding scenario. Number 5. Music Wall and its Nine Towers A new place, a new home, for a while, let me feel alive Nothing to hold me back, take my time, just enjoy the ride They are part of Lucerne's fortifications. It is a 800 meter long wall erected around 1400. It's standing in the form of a crown around the own tower. The city view from there is rewarding. The towers are open to the public from 8 a.m. to 7 p.m. between 1st April and 1st November. The entrance is free. Number 4. The Lion Monument
The Lion Monument is a memorial. It is a rock relief, a work of art carved in stone. It is the landmark of the city of Lucerne and it's located inside a charming park. The Lion of Lucerne is visited by around 1.4 million people every year. But just a few of them are actually aware of the tragic story behind it. The imponent sculpture has 10 by 6 meters and was created to honor the Swiss guards who died protecting the life of the French king Louis XVI. The park is open 24 by 7 and the entrance is free. Number 3. Boat Cruise This is an incredible experience. The views are breathtaking. We decided to take the round trip tickets so the starting and ending points were the Lucerne's Pier. If you don't have many days to spend, like us, we recommend this option to optimize your itinerary. The duration is about two to three hours. Consult their website for prices and timetable. Number two, the Chapel Bridge. Considered to be Europe's oldest covered bridge, famous because of its length and the incredible triangular panels, it was built in the 4th century as part of the city's fortifications. The bridge has 86 pictorial panels that were incorporated later. They are representations of several moments in the Swiss history. They tell Lucerne's history as well. Unfortunately, the Chapel Bridge burned partially in a fire in 1993 and had to be restored. We recommend visiting the Chapel Bridge during the day and also at night when its lights make it look even more magic. Number 1. Mount Pilatus A legendary place above the mountains, from where you can contemplate 73 Alpine peaks. The top can be reached by gondola lift and aerial cable car. Their adventure park offers some nice activities. Our favorite is by far the toboggan.
It is the most incredible place to visit in Lucerne, in our opinion. You won't believe your eyes. The panoramic view is really worth it. For more information and price, consult their website. We took the car and decided to wander around the non-tourist part of the city. This quiet neighborhood was a good surprise. We felt far away from a big city. The farmhouses, rural roads, silence. If you love nature like us, we strongly recommend this drive. In the description below, you will find our free pocket guide. Like and subscribe if this video was interesting for you. We hope to see you soon on our next adventure and have a safe trip. <laughs>